Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a DIY face and body exfoliator that I like to use during my self-care days. But before we jump into the tutorial, I want to share with you guys what exfoliation is and the benefits of exfoliating. So exfoliating is essentially the removal of dead skin cells from the surface layer of your skin. If you're not exfoliating during your skincare routine, then your skin can't really absorb everything you're placing on top of it because the products are sitting on top of dead skin. Ew, gross. So exfoliation, in my opinion, is the most important step in your skincare routine because it allows everything that you're placing on top of it to really get absorbed. So this specific um, exfoliator that I'm sharing with you guys is really great if you have sensitive skin, if you have eczema, um, it's really power packed. So if you're like the girl on the go, if you are a busy mom and you have like 10 seconds to do anything from your skincare routine, this is it because it's packed with so many like good nutritional and um, amazing ingredients that are just gonna help your skin look really, really beautiful. And it's also a no cleanse exfoliator. So you can literally whip this baby out anywhere and exfoliate your hands if they're feeling dry during the winter time or if you have, you know, um, hands that crack easily because they don't have any moisture. This is a great exfoliator for that. So let's get started. So the first ingredient that you're gonna need is oatmeal. Oatmeal is a really great mild exfoliator. It's rich in antioxidants and it helps undo damage done to your skin by pollution and UV rays. It's also great for calming eczema and healing psoriasis. And it's also very moisturizing. Coconut oil is antibacterial, antifungal, and very moisturizing. I definitely recommend buying a cold pressed coconut oil. I'm going to leave a link below so you guys can purchase that if you don't already have one um, because cold pressed oils hold their nutritional value better. Coconut oil is also considered non comedogenic, making it great if you're acne prone. green tea so you do need to steep your green tea before starting this I'm showing you the dry version here um, but green tea is really great for reducing irritation redness and swelling and a little bit of lime lime has great anti-aging properties and a lot of vitamin C so you're gonna take your coconut oil and mix your oatmeal into the coconut oil so this is the best way to prevent a mess. I feel whenever I do it, if I try to mix the coconut oil into the oatmeal, I make a disaster. So this is just my way. Um, I mean, whatever works for you guys is fine, but this is just how I do it. So as I mentioned earlier, oatmeal is just such a great ingredient. It's very healing, very moisturizing. It has antioxidants. It's just such a great ingredient to have in skincare. And one of the reasons that I decided to, to do this video is because a lot, of the t a lot of the times we don't really research what's in our skincare products. So if you make it yourself, like you know exactly what's in it. So just fold the oatmeal into the coconut oil. And I found it very soothing to actually do this. Like self-care is so important. It just allows you to take some time for yourself and I know myself being a mom sometimes I and a wife I have to do so much that when it's time for me it's just such a healing and soothing experience Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of the green tea leaves into the mixture. If, um, so the reason that I add the green tea leaves is because I like the exfoliation that the, the tea leaves give, but if you want it to be a little less abrasive, even though this is very mild, just add the actual tea. And lastly, some lime. So lime was literally my grandma's favorite beauty ingredient to use, like favorite beauty product to use. She would slather it on her skin and she was, her skin was just so beautiful and soft. Once you have your mixture nice and combined, you just wanna grab a little bit in your fingertips and do small circular motions. So it doesn't really matter where you start as long as you're exfoliating 
all your face and as I mentioned before you can use this on your body so I used it this morning in the shower and the reason that I like using it in the shower is because then I don't have to put body lotion on since my pores are nice and open everything gets nice and like moisturized and you just smell so good like the green tea with the coconut oil and it has a little bit of like a citrus smell from the lime it's just such a beautiful like in shower <laughs> experience and um, also this is a non cleanse exfoliator so that's why I love this particular one because if I'm ever in a rush and I have to be somewhere and I have to pick like one thing like I don't have time to do my 11 step skincare routine this is it I just grab it out of my freezer I'm, I'm sorry out of my fridge out of my freezer that'd be a little hard I grab it out of my fridge and exfoliate my skin wipe it down and I'm good to go and I don't have to take like additional time moisturizing or toning or all of that because I feel like the lime, the oatmeal, the coconut oil, the green tea kind of take care of, take care of that all in one. So here I'm just wiping it off my face and then I'm ready for makeup. I honestly just love this so much. It's so soothing. It leaves your skin so soft and it leaves you glowing. Once you're done wiping, you are good to go. And this is a great exfoliator for hands. I love using this in the winter time when my hands are really dry. And your skin so moisturized. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe.